up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel you can see that i am on close-up so you know what this video is going to be it is going to be like a get ready with me video but the main reason that i wanted to do this video is because i was sitting back and just thinking like when i was growing up and all of the things that we had and the things that i missed that i wish that would come back um, so I wanted to do like a, I don't know if it's going to be a top 10. It might be a few more than a top 10, but the things that I wish that we had in the seventies and the eighties that I wish would come back. Like, oh my God, I miss them so much. And I wish that they would come back. Like everything has gotten so technological that I feel like a lot of the of the fun that we used to have back in the day it's just like gone but I am going to tell you the things that I wish would come back and then I want you all to share with me in the description things that you grew up with that are no longer mass market like you might find them on eBay or Mercari or somewhere like that or some simile of it like on Amazon but it's not what it used to be so let me know the things that you wish would come back and I am going to get started letting you know what I miss so much and the first thing that I'm going to tell you that I miss is the Walkman now I went on eBay I think and I saw a bunch of them um some of them in better condition than other ones were of course but um yeah I, I want these things to be like mass market again so we can have them but i used to absolutely love because i used to have to ride the bus to work and i used to love to be able to just put my little thing a little wire over my head my little headband keeps wanting to come apart the little wire over my head and stick my little things in my ears and ignore the hell out of everybody else on the bus get myself in the mic in the right mind frame or mindset for going to work and just listening to my favorite music and oh when they introduced auto reverse that right there changed the game for me i ain't have to take that cassette out and flip it over yeah, you couldn't tell me absolutely nothing. So I really, really wish that the Walkman would come back. Not only the Walkman, but to add something else. And this is just like an extra. When the, the portable CD player. I don't know if that was like the 90s or 2000s. I don't know what that was, but... um. They can come back too, okay? And I think that had auto reverse also. I would listen to the same album over and over until I got to work. So, yeah, once I got in there, like the cassette that I wanted to get in there, um, I was good for the ride. So I really wish that would come back. And then with that being said, cassette tapes. You can't have a Walkman if you don't have cassette tapes. So I really, really, I still actually, I think, have some cassette tapes downstairs in my basement. So, okay, some of my favorite music is downstairs in the basement. All I need is me a good working Walkman. Let's say it that way. Um, and then the next thing that I wish would come back, and this is educational. It's cursive writing. We have a whole generation or two. I don't think that next third, that the most, the most recent alpha, whatever they are, generation, um, is quite old enough to be taught cursive writing yet. I don't think. Maybe some of them are. But um, cursive writing needs to be taught in school again. If I wrote a letter to. No, I think my niece can read cursive writing. My son taught himself cursive writing. He's a um, millennial. 
He taught himself cursive writing. They did not teach it to him in school. But um, some of the younger kids, like the teenagers now, if I wrote a letter to them in cursive, they would not be able to read it. Um, and I miss just like being able to sit down and actually write out a letter in cursive. Now we put in everything as text messages on our phone. We don't even write in, in regular print, right, anymore. We don't write letters or anything anymore. So I just wish that things like that, that we were taught in school would come back. And I am going to use the shade right here. I am using my Matte Connecting Color Future Flame palette. But yeah, I wish like things like that would come back. I think it would make the world more freaking humane and look, just teach the way we were taught back in the day. And I think that's why we had more sense or we had more sense <laughs> and don't feel bad if you are a millennial, but it's just so millennial or younger, but there are just so many things that I think that you all missed out on. Uh, even just going outside and playing, like having the ability to like walk down to the rec center by yourself and your mother and father not have to worry about you and just all that type of stuff. And that all <laughs> kind of stemmed off the fact that I said I wish that cursive writing would come back. Um, but yeah, it's like, and I know like every generation says the same thing, but to me, it was just like so much of a simpler time when I was growing up. We... I feel like had a little bit more freedom of worry like you didn't have to worry about being killed before you come home not for the most part not unless you were in that life where you were doing something wrong in the first place but yeah like we could go to the rec center and spend hours there we can hang out at our friend's house for hours we could come in when the street lights went on and stuff like that like we didn't have like these restrictions and worries and it was just a simpler time and i'm going off on a tangent because i was talking oh i'm putting this more into the crease because i was talking about cursive writing but yeah i wish that would come back for sure i wish that we could have arcade games back like when I say arcade games I mean the big gigantic Galaga and Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man and all of the and asteroids and stuff like that and you used to be able to go to just a regular arcade not like Dave and Buster's where you could eat and drink alcohol and all that type of stuff just a regular arcade game where, once again, you had freedom from your parents. They gave you change and you went to the arcade. And you played games and lost all your money and came home. I wish that that would really come back. That was like some of the best times of my childhood. Trying to learn how to play these video games. And guess what? Video games came out with the Gen Xers, okay? So y'all ain't create nothing. Um, but yeah, arcade games, and with that being said, how about the Atari 2600? How about the Atari 2600 with that control that you put in your hand and you, you move the little control like that? That's when I used to know how to play video games. These things where you have to move your thumbs and hit this, and my son is trying very hard <laughs> to teach me how to do that without moving too much and yeah like I'm still trying to learn he gave me the steam deck um and I'll put a picture of the steam deck it reminds me of the uh, one hour later Nintendo switch like Jesus I don't know why I couldn't remember the name Nintendo switch that thing was the most popular thing for a while but yeah, um, the Steam Deck for all of that is the same sort of as the Nintendo Switch. 
not the same but similar and my son is for the life of him trying to teach me how to use that but I am very old school when it comes to like these video games and I for the life of me cannot learn how to use these new ones the um as far as I went with those little handheld consoles was the Nintendo Game Boy I think it was the Game Boy or Game Boy Deluxe or whatever it was but um yeah that's as far as I went I am thinking what am I going to do here I am going to go in with this shade right here but yeah love the old school Nintendo 64 no 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 not Nintendo Atari 2600 then they had the Sega Genesis I was good with the Sega Genesis but from then on it got to be a little bit too much for me um but yeah really really wish arcades and arcade games will come back mass market and not be some like specialty thing um the next thing that I wish that would come back and not be a novelty is the boom box you put that cassette tape in that boom box and when I say your music went boom your music went boom and people used to walk outside and hold them on their shoulders and now um, I feel like it's like made like a joke like costumey type joke and it was the best thing ever back in the day to have that big old boom box have your music blasting and once again we need to get cassette tapes back because we can't have a boom box <laughs> boom box without cassette tapes um so yep the boom box i was on i think ebay and for like a real boom box and not those things that they sell on amazon they were almost charging two thousand dollars for it I think it was 1949 I said not in this lifetime so yep those need to come back mass market um oh my god it reminds me of uh like movies like Crooklyn and what was that other movie by Spike Lee where that guy walked around with the boom box on his shoulders I can't remember the name of that movie for the life of me right now um but yeah, if you watch Crooklyn, that'll kind of show you how life was. I mean, it was just so much better back then to me anyway, because I grew up during that time. But the next thing that I wish would come back, and I think to some degree we still have them, but not like we used to. Like we used to get up on Saturday mornings get our cereal and watch Saturday morning cartoons like there were cart cartoons that only came on on Saturday mornings and then when the commercials came on you had schoolhouse rock and that's how we learned a lot back then was by watching schoolhouse rock um I have schoolhouse rock on DVD I am just picking up this shade right here and just putting it on the outer part of my lid. Um, I have it on DVD because I bought it on DVD for my son. Because I wanted him to be able to enjoy and learn from Schoolhouse Rock the same way I did. Of course, it never caught on with him the way it did with us when we were kids. But I still have those DVDs and I will not let those DVDs go. Cause I think they were some of the best education ever <laughs> but yep I wish that Saturday morning cartoons with the commercials like schoolhouse rock would come on back I'm trying to make sure I put this all the way up where I want it because I noticed in my last um video where I was putting on what did I put on the I used a Mothman palette I don't think I took my shadows up far enough and I want them at least up here far enough like to this bone right here so but yeah 
I am going to go, I think, into this shade right here. I'm just randomly using eyeshadows in this palette. Um, and we're going to move on. But the next thing I wish would be, and I think these kind of are, um, but the old school version of the Polaroid camera. <laughs> I read somebody say Polo Polaroid cameras were like the back in the day Instagram, but you got your pictures instantly. But you used to, that picture slides out of there and you just shake it and you are not supposed to shake those pictures. You are just supposed to let them develop on their own. But we used to shake them until they developed. I'm going to put this right here. But I used to have so much fun grabbing, what is it, like a 10 pack or something? It was like a 10 pack of pictures. And just, I think my mother had like a Polaroid camera or something. And she had like, it was almost like a leathery type one, metal and leather. And you used to have to, not that one that's already open, but you used to have to pull it up. So you had to pull it open and you had to pull the lens up. But the, um, the picture still came out instantly. And I used to love to just sit there and wait to see those pictures develop. Now, would those pictures stay in the test of time? I doubt it very seriously. <laughs> they would probably degrade just as quick. I am going to go into this shade right here and sort of blend these shades together. And I'm just going to use this fluffy brush. Just blend like up here. All right, and the next thing, and I don't even know how many I said right now, five um, or six or seven, maybe six. Um, the next thing that I wish though that would come back is those nostalgic candies and snacks that we used to have, like the Astro Pop, that thing that would probably stab you in the back of the throat <laughs> if you were not too careful. But it is shaped like a, tr like a, almost like a tree, but I'll have the picture on the screen. I know y'all know exactly what I'm talking about if you grew up at the same time I did. But the Astro Pop, um, I don't know if they still sell sugar babies on, in the stores or mass market, but I used to love a good sugar baby, sugar daddy, sugar mama, all of them. All of those nostalgic candies that we used to have, and I hate, don't call me. Um, yeah, like we, we probably rotted our teeth out. And I used to love, like even when I was in, yeah, this was the eighties. I was in junior high school. We used to have like an ice cream truck that used to sit down the street from our, our high school. And then they used to let us out at lunchtime and we would go down the street to the ice cream truck and we wouldn't eat real lunch we would go down to the ice cream truck and you always had to get something salty something sweet and something to drink and that was always your well-rounded lunch and it lasted you throughout the, the the rest of the afternoon until you got home to eat dinner but yeah so good old days um and I'm trying to think of, and I think I have them down here, cherry clans. No, I don't know about cherry clans. But I remember, I don't remember cherry clans, but I remember, because they said these are like barrel shaped. I remember the root beer barrel shaped candies from back in the day. So yeah, that could come back. I think like things like that, you can go on Amazon and you can pick up like the nostalgic candy packs. And it has all of these different, um... I'm going to come away from the eyeshadow for a moment. It has all of these different candies from back in the day. And you can buy them that way. But let's make it easy. Make it mass market. Let me go to Target or Walmart or somewhere and just be able to pick these things up. The next thing that I wish that will come back. Now, look at me. See, this is why I can't find stuff. Because I have my lip liner mixed in with my eyeliners. 
But I am going to put my foundation on. We know what I pulled for the week. That was the Kosas Revealer. But um, the Rubik's Cube, for the most part, is still here. My son is able to solve the Rubik's Cube. I am not. But <clears throat> they used to have this one called the Pyraminx. And they had this one called the Missing Link. I don't know why they brought the Rubik's Cube back and did not bring those two things back. I remember getting those for Christmas and um, actually took the missing link up to a friend's house and they stole it. Well, the brother stole it. Something happened. But I used to love to try to solve that missing link. And the pyraminx was a lot like the Rubik's Cube. So I could never, ever solve it. But I enjoyed trying. I even tried to solve the Rubik's Cube. Could never solve it. Um, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So I wish that little games like those, those games kind of kept your mind occupied. And I feel like they were sort of a learning experience too at the same time like this puzzle solving type of thing and it just kept your your mind and sort of enlightened and occupied so i really wish instead of like these video games that things like that would be popular again and one thing that is definitely back but being worn in a different way everything old is pretty much new again but it's the fanny pack and the fanny pack in the 80s was super popular because you could put everything you wanted to carry with you and that thing strap it around your waist and keep it moving and you didn't have to worry about like carrying a purse or how heavy it would be because you were only carrying their necessities and those things anyway they are i think they were at least a year or two ago doing fanny packs again but they wear them like cross body which i mean i don't have a problem with i have a fanny pack that i got from savage x fenty with the order that i placed i think i got it for free so i do have one but yeah everything old is new again like acid wash jeans that is something i did never want to come back but they came back <laughs> and they may still be here all right now i am going to grab because i wanted to try as many of these as i could i think i used that one and i used that one and let's see if we have one that is I let I think I have some cream blushes. Let's see if I want to. Let's try Inferno. These are the Phytosurgeons blushes. But yeah, so things come back. I can't quite remember what the heck I was talking about, but we just gonna put some blush on. And these were just like things that popped in my head. Also, things like, you remember when you uh, and your friends got together and you either did those paper dolls with the little clothes that you could switch out or like the scratch and sniff stickers and stuff like that that you put all over everything and were so surprised that they smelled exactly like, they, um, like the picture that was on the sticker. Stuff like that. Like, we need that type of stuff. Little girls need to be little girls, you know? And not trying to emulate mom at such a young age. They need to be little girls and do stuff like that. Let me just stick that in there. And this is the shade Inferno. Now I'm gonna set my face. And I am gonna set my face with my Laura Mercier. By the way, I, I do have an affiliate code with Laura Mercier. I just got it. Yay. Um, but it is for one use per customer. And it's for, this is in my way. Sorry. Um, where 
Oh, this is the brush that I want. It is for free shipping. Most of my affiliate codes give you 10 or 15% off. This one gives you free shipping. So if Laura Mercier is having a sale or if there's something that you use of hers on a regular basis and you want to replace it, use my affiliate code. It's down in the description and you can get free shipping. Also with Bare Minerals, I also have an affiliate code with Bare Minerals. Um, but with that one, I believe you get 10% off of your order. It's also a one use per customer discount code. All right. And we are going to do this part of my face. And I am thinking back to like some of the toys that we used to have. And this is not even part of the things that I had planned to tell you. But remember the um the Etch-a-Sketch? I remember as a child actually sitting there and turning those two little white knobs until I had all of that silver gone off of there and you could see inside of the Etch-a-Sketch. I did not have a life to live back then. <laughs> I was just wasting my time trying to see the inside of my Etch-a-Sketch. But toys like that I used to absolutely love. That is one of the ones I don't know if it is like in the toy stores or anything anymore. Sorry, I was trying to readjust my scar. If it's in the toy stores or anything anymore. Like the... I feel like on some level the light bright is back and I feel like Simon I don't think that was the 80s was it I'm, I'm not sure but like Simon why am I putting my big brushes in with my eye brushes because I'm losing my mind let me slide those over there for a second I need face brushes so I am going to grab this brush from Sonia G and it's the Niji Pro and I'm going to do this as a bronzer and this is the Tiger palette from Hourglass but yeah things like that and remember that other game and I know this for sure had to be the 80s where it was just like a piece of plastic over something sticky and you would write on it and then you could pull the paper up and it would um disappear oh my god that was the most magical thing in the world for me but yeah like we used to have the best toys baby alive and um the light bright and Christmas used to have a whole bunch of stuff under the tree and you always wondered how your mother was able to do it <laughs> But yeah, we are bronzed. And I am going to take the, it is my, one of my Sephora brushes, this one, and use the highlighter and it will be the shade right up under the bronzer. Just like that. That is done. I am going to go back to my eyes. And we are going to grab. We'll put that back. We are going to grab the. Actually first before I go back into the palette. I am going to go back into. I am going to go into. Actually let me use this. We'll use this for my eyeliner. This is an Urban Decay eyeliner and this is the shade it does not have a shade anatomy this one is old but we still work very well it still glides right on 
and I am hoping that this will make the shades at the top pop and not make me look super sick. But I wanted to use another color instead of grabbing that um, brown one I use for melt all the time. So we are going to go back into the palette and I am going to go into a shade that I did not use and that is this shade right here and we're going to put that on the lower lash line. And let's see, let me get a little smudge brush here. Actually, let me use this as a smudge brush because it's flat across the top. And it's this brush here. It is the Sonia G Builder. So it's for your lid, but I'm going to use it for my lower lash line. And just put the shadow on the tip of it and go right here and I just brushed in my eye I just am trying to use as many of these shades as I can I feel like Mac eyeshadows are some of the best eyeshadows they always blend Mac is the OG of course and everybody else is just coming behind them I am going to grab one of these bullet brushes this is the pencil pro from Sonia G and I'm going to go into the shade here which what is that shade I kept just pointing to the shades is that amber lights? This could be amber lights. I used to love amber lights. I need to get like really back into using my MAC shadows. Because I always enjoy the look. When I use them, you pretty much cannot go wrong. It used to be amber lights, expensive pink, and bark. Um, I think it's another shade that I used to love. Of course, that black one. I forgot what the black one is called, but I feel like I used it in a video recently. And it is the best black ever. Um, what other? Saddle. Um, and I had a bunch of MAC singles that I used to absolutely love. Of course they are. I still have them actually. But I just think they're too old to use right now. So I probably need to replace them. Because they are shades that I love. Saddle used to be the one. Alright, let me put my mascara on. I wish I had a brown mask. I do have a brown mascara. One sec. And this is one of my... Mascara is from Prime Pro Metrics. It is the Prime Lash Mascara. And come on, focus. There you go. This is mascara that's formulated for um, mature women. So it sort of nourishes the lashes, I believe, and helps the lashes to grow. But yes, we are going to put brown mascara on today get away from doing what we normally do which is black mascara and this is this has sort of a reddish brown tint to it so it really goes with the look today and it is doing a great job of separating my lashes and you can kind of see the difference in the two you can see a little bit of a thickness with the one that I put it on and it is always well the rule is usually two coats on the top and one coat on the bottom past that you run the risk of getting clumpy lashes now um, I am not sure with this formula if the lashes clump if you do more than that because I've never tried to do more than that I keep turning my heat on and off, sorry. But yes, we like this mascara. 
I can see it. Like I can see a thickness in my lashes, but they are not as stark as that black mascara. All right, and I am gonna do another coat on the top and I'll be right back. All right, so eyelashes are done, eyes are done. And if you are interested in this mascara, my link will be in the description. I'll actually put it here on the screen, but also you can just actually click the link in my description. You'll save 15% off of your order. Um, So we'll actually, I'll put that in there with the rest of my mascaras um so we are almost done i'm just going to finish off with the lip i'm going to be using the shade chili popper today and i think it'll go well with my um eye look i'm going to first line my lips with max chestnut sorry And if I didn't say, you should, and you don't know, Chili Popper is from MAC. Okay, I'm going to blend that in a little bit. And we will apply Chili Popper. Let me grab, a, grab the palette so I can have a mirror. And it looks so just nice and shiny. Look how shiny that looks. I hate to um, sort of disrupt it. So pretty and so perfect. <laughs> but we are getting ready to apply this. And this was part of the Chili's Crew collection from MAC. Just like Ruby's Crew, then they came out with Chili's Crew. So they made crews of some of their most iconic lip colors. So this is part of that collection. I am not sure if this collection is still available. This must be one of their luster glasses because it just glid, glid, glided right on. Yeah, this is one of their luster glass lipsticks. And I just want to try to blend. Let me grab this makeup eraser because I am forever going out of the line and I really like this shade it's almost like wearing a red lipstick but not quite all right so I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna not make me so freaking bright and that is actually let's zoom in again <laughs> that is the look that is the look and I have I finally came to you all with a look using this palette I think I have used like individual shades out of this palette before but never used this this palette for a whole look I feel like this is part of max permanent collection and I went on max website a couple of days ago and my thing is already It'll be delivered to me tomorrow. But I did see that they still had that palette, Snowbody's Business, and I've seen Dion use it a lot. And it was on sale, so I got it. So I'll add that. I think that is another, well, yeah, it's definitely another 12 pan palette in this type of packaging. I like this type of packaging for their palettes. But that is it. I just wanted to go down memory lane with you all while I'm doing my makeup. I could not end this video without a couple more things that I wish would come back in in today's time. 
Now, remember Blockbuster? We used to, we used to go, like we would go to my grandparents' house like on Fridays to spend the weekend and we would always drive to Blockbusters, rent like two or three movies and come home and watch them over the weekend and then return them. I really wish we had the ability to be able to go to a Blockbuster. I think they just, within the last year or like very recently, I don't remember exactly when, but they just closed the last Blockbuster video. That breaks my heart though. Now only thing we have is like Netflix and Netflix keeps going up on their prices. I'm getting sick of Netflix. Netflix even used to give you videos. So I wish that we could go back to that. Now another toy that I wish that we could have again and I don't know if on some level they still have a version of it somewhere but it was the curb bangers where you would hold that stick and just clack those balls and drive your parents absolutely batshit crazy <laughs> I wish that we could have those again and they had some of those that were like on like strings that couldn't be for me because I would always like knock myself in the head with some of those but the plastic ones that you just went up and down like this and those balls just clacked on both ends I wish that we could have that again they had this game um, when I was younger that had you would fill it up with water and then there would be and I'll put a picture of it on the screen this button that you would press and the things would fly around in the water and you had to try to like put them on the like the little sticks that are in you know I'll, I'll i'll put the game on the screen and if you know you know that was um something that i truly enjoyed as a kid as well as the view master where you would put that little thing that looked like a little small movie reel inside of it and put it up to your eyes and press this little button on the side and you would be all just thinking it was so magical because everything looked 3D inside of it. Just things like that that just give you like the simplest joy. I wish that would come back now. And I wish that kids would be able to experience things like that now. I just think it just, things it's, for me were just so much better and so much simpler. Then now you have to have this super expensive computer system or gaming console or whatever to be able to enjoy a decent game and i just wish that we could go back to simpler times and again let me know down in the description what you all used to absolutely love whether it be a toy or makeup or an experience or whatever it was from your childhood that you wish we had now thank you all so much for watching this video i had fun doing it if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and don't let your day be a waste of makeup Bye.